What is up, everybody? It is Matt Croissant, Car Guy Croissant, over at Kia of Columbia. Your new internet director and dedicated content creator for the store. Giving you some information on the all new, fully redesigned 2023 Kia Sportage X Pro in the jungle green, baby. We're back. It's been a couple months. I've been real quiet. But it's time to dig in and get back to business as usual. We're starting with the big boy here, but rest assured, we're also going to be filming this SX Prestige model, this X-Line model, and that little EX in white over there too. We're about to get it knocked out today. So we've also got a new microphone. It's really windy today. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing it as much here. We got a new setup here. We've moved away from the gimbal over to a uh, nice little Joby Gorilla Pod. Thanks, appreciate you guys. So, we're gonna switch it up, get things started here. Starting up front, fully redesigned front end. The X-Pro has its own unique grill on here. We got some nice, large LED daytime running lights. Got some little foggers down below right here too. Nice tiger nose front end. We've got the new Kia badging on here. The jungle green is looking absolutely beautiful right now. Moving to the side here. You can see we've got some 17 inch wheels with some BF Goodrich. Look at them all terrains on there. Nice beefy tires for the X Pro. Beautiful. We've got matte plastic all around instead of a black trim on here, like you see on this SX Prestige for your off road inspired driving. Check out the new mirrors. Very sharp defined angles we've got turn indicators on here nice piece of glass on the a pillar for visibility blind spot monitors keyless entry raised roof rails for your x line and x pro package got a nice large panoramic roof up above as well nice matte finish on the body side molding here too this thing is just looking mean this sportage is bigger than last year's model it has tons more features than last year's model it is like a billion times sexier than last year's model. We can all agree. Dig it in real quick, give you a quick peek at the window sticker here. Feel free to pause and scroll at your own leisure here. We've got some nice reflection on the glass, but I'm sure you'll manage. Just feel free to check all that out right there. MSRP on this vehicle is 37015. This one is already spoken for, but we're happy to help you with the next one at MSRP. So, moving around to the back here, you can see we've got some full LED tail lights on here, backup camera down below, rear parking sensors also included. Just take it all in for a moment here. This is brand new, fully redesigned. Woo, man. Two-tone, got the gloss black roof on top here too. Man, let me tell you, they sure did it, didn't they folks? They done did it. Man, all right. Enough about the outside, let's go ahead and dig in. We don't wanna make this too long. You guys know I'll go ahead and just uh, go on tangents here. So, digging in here, popping open the front door. Got a nice black interior here. Perforated leather with some nice stitching too. Nice touch, nice accent on there. Nice strong bolstering as well to keep you tucked in that seat right there. On the door, you've got memory seating on the X-Pro. Front two windows are gonna be automatic for you. You've got the Harman Kardon in here. 10-way adjustable driver's seat right here too. Okay, hopping on in. Now, just keep in mind, this comes with your 2.5 GDI gas direct engine. Okay, we're in. Talk about a screen right here. Holy moly. So, starting on the left hand side, we've got dash illumination, power lift gate on this model, traction control, your electric parking brake is going to be right here. And just pull on this to engage or put your foot on the brake and press in to disengage that, okay? Moving over here to our steering wheel, standard for Kia, besides the GT2 Stinger, you're going to have a manually tilting and telescopic wheel right here, okay? Nice round design on this model. On the left hand side, we're still going to have all of our entertainment options right here. Voice recognition, you can cycle through your audio sources, volume control, treaded buttons, 
so you can press and feel where to mute on this side of the steering wheel. You've got a favorite button, which will do almost anything for you. Um, you just press this right here, and it's going to bring up um, multiple options that you can use for this. You can reject or end a call, cancel your route, reroute, put the vehicle in quiet mode, all kinds of cool features. Now, this by default will answer and end phone calls, so don't be confused. This is your dedicated phone call button now. Skipping through tracks and presets right here. On the right hand side, we're going to have all of our driving and information tools. And boy, it looks like we've got some information, huh? Full digital display moving across here. Digital display right here, too. When I saw this turn on, I was like, whoa. We'll dig into that in just a second, though. So we've got our page button here. It's going to change through these different pages of information. First is gonna be our safety and convenience screen, showing you your driver attention system, how long the vehicle's been on, paying attention to your driving habits, making sure that you and your passengers stay safe. You've also got your lane keep assistance screen right here. We're gonna make sure that that's all turned on. Uh, we'll go into the settings to control that. Most of that's already on by default. We can see actually right here, it's already grayed out. So we've got our lane keep on. This will show you when the lines on the road are registered as well as when the vehicle in front of you is also going to be registered. Hitting our page button is going to bring us over to our trip screen or drive info. You can see your fuel economy, how far you've driven, how long you've driven, uh, since you've refueled, same type of information. Accumulation is your total lifetime information. And then you've got your auto stop uh, feature right here. So that's letting you know that that's on. That seems like a new thing as well. So definitely have to be driving for this option right here. Maybe we'll get another shorter video of that feature. Okay. Moving down, you've also got a digital speedometer right here. Almost messed that up. Navigation on the next page. This will show you your cardinal direction, or if you are navigating, it's going to bring up turn by turn info for you right here so you can look directly ahead. Information screen, we've got an all wheel drive screen showing you where your power is being placed. And then you've also got onboard tire pressure information. Now we can see we've got a fully digital display right here. Now this is gonna be tied in with a few different things and we're gonna talk about the drive display. Let's go ahead and talk about our different drive modes right here. If we rotate this dial, bet you, oh yeah, your entire display changes. Okay, put it in smart mode. It's gonna look just like the normal mode. I wonder if they have a dedicated snow option on here. Nope, okay, so if this vehicle had an eco mode, it would also change in that sense too, but we've got these two main displays. People might think, oh, that's kinda of whack. You only get two displays. Well, don't worry. If this is like every other vehicle that has this digital display in Kia, we're gonna go over to vehicle in the settings, cluster, cluster theme selection check it out we're going to unlink it from the drive mode okay so we've got classic a classic b and classic c this was the eco mode in the sorrento so you can always change it to this or we've got our dynamic love this one check it out it's a nice sunny day today so it's going to actually this display will change based on climate conditions the time of day it's it's really cool so um, we're gonna just leave it on that one for these folks I believe they're out in Arkansas so congratulations to you guys not my clients though I don't sell cars anymore I just uh, do the cool stuff so all right anyways Heading back here, now that we've got our display changed, um, that's really all I wanted to talk about right there as far as your different drive modes. We'll dig into the other features near the center console here in just a little bit. So we can also see fuel economy right here, our auto hold features, fuel range is over here, digital tachometer, so very cool very cool vehicle let's talk about what's on our wands we've got automatic headlights with our fog lights here this does come with high beam assistance flicking that forward you saw the auto light come on there this is going to turn your brights on and off at night for you this is typically aligned with having full LED headlights by the way so that's going to be on this X Pro here right hand wand you've got oh look at that the finer details you have automatic rain sensing wipers on the X Pro model here front and rear wiper actuation using the wand or the dial at the end right here and it looks like that rear wiper was concealed back there so just 
really, really great design. I'm sure everybody's stoked to see the Sportage looking so sexy right now. Okay, that's going to be it for the steering and driving area. Just kidding. We've got our Smart Cruise features right here. So this is a one-step activation now. You just press this, turn it on, and you're cruising. Then from there, you can accelerate, decelerate, pause, or resume, change your following distance. And also, you've got lane follow on here now too. You can turn this on. And when the lines on the road are registered, this will actually keep you automatically centered in the lane while lane keep will keep you from veering outside. So you've got two different levels of adjustment there. Um, this is not hands-free driving, but damn near close and very enjoyable, really reduces the arm fatigue on those longer trips or just in town. If you want to stay centered, stay as safe as possible, turn that on. It's great. Let's take a peek up above real quick. We've got the touch sensitive LED lights here that we can see in other Kia models. I'm glad that they're just, I'm, I'm so happy to see all of this in a Sportage now. Got our panoramic roof. You just pull back all the way. You'll feel two clicks. That'll move the automatic sunshade as well as the sunroof here. It's got a nice wind diffuser right here for you. So you just get that nice cool breeze, no crazy helicopter or vacuum effect. Go ahead and close that up. Lighting buttons, door lighting button. Ah, my head just stuck to some tape back here. Ouch. Um, we've got our Kia Connect button here. This is a first for us seeing Kia Connect instead of Uvo here. You get an app on your phone uh, for a whole year for free where you can actually remote start this Sportage, set the temperature, set your heated items as well. All kinds of cool features. It's, it's really nice, really nice. I've got it on my Stinger and my Telluride, and uh, I use it daily for sure. So um, here we've just got standard rear view mirror with your little dimmer flipper there. Down below, we've got this huge display, huge, and it's all connected. Just looks so nice and smooth and seamless. Uh, pretty standard format for new Kias now. We've got uh, your home screen here. You can make your own profiles to save all of your settings. We've got time, media information, typically some temperature and weather info will pop up here. Nice little glimpse of the map here in a nice, just in a really nice format. So nice large vents right here that are openable and closable. And then moving down here, let's let's talk, let's just check this out. Let's check this out real quick. So um, I got in this car and I wonder if I can just turn it all the way off. No, we're not even going to mess with it. Anyways, it's got a tri-auto blower system, dual climate, as you can see right here. Now, this can also be your volume button, it looks like. This, there's some dual functions here, and I think it's just awesome. So uh, we've got dual function here, dual climate. Right now it's on auto high. So using this auto button, you can actually change the level of airflow. I'm going to keep it on high because it's a pretty toasty day today. You know, nice 75 degrees out here in Missouri. So we've got climate options right here. Front defrost, rear defrost, temperature change. Uh, looks like we've also got a heated windshield for your wipers there on the X-Pro. Very nice. Always nice to have, right? Now we can press right here. And look, everything changes. This is now your volume button. This is now your tuning button. They've simplified it. Woo! Uh, your analog buttons that are usually centrally located are now touch sensitive buttons right here for your map, nav, your favorite button, which again, you press this and it'll let you pick your preferred app. Looks like we've got Wi Fi on board here now, too. Shazam! Oh my gosh. So, really cool. Really, really cool. Um, loving this so far. I'm sure you guys are too. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button if you're having a good time with me. Okay, moving down from here, we've got a power center. Oh, what? We've got Type C charging in Kias now. That's what I'm talking about. We're moving into the future. We've got a Type B here. Uh, this is going to be your data port for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Uh, we do not have wireless in these larger screens yet but this is awesome to see a type c fast charger in here uh, living in the future 12 volt outlet for whatever you might need there wireless charging pad with some nice cooling vents right here for you start button to start the car right here just so you know okay we've got our shifter this looks like it came right out of the uh, Kia Stinger. Loving that. I love this T handle. It's nice. You can see with my arm right here, nice resting position. Just feels good to have your hand right here. Really makes you feel like you're in the cockpit here. 
Okay, we've got heated seating as well as a heated wheel on the X Pro here. Um, we're seeing actually this design here I haven't seen since uh, I worked at Hyundai with the Palisade. You can see you've got some great storage right here, or if you need cup holders, depending on how many you need, bam, and a pressure tong pops out. Love that, just in case you Red Bull drinkers need to keep your tiny little cans in place. So here we've got more driving features. We can now press this. This is on new Kias. You can bring up your backup camera at any time. You can see it's a nice large high definition view with projected pathing blue box showing you where you're at in real time the yellow box showing you where you're going with some distance indicators we can also change the view here look straight down if we need to again true sides of the sportage being represented with a nice center line right there we've got a rear parking sensors waiting to go off over here too so moving back down here, you've got downward angle control. This will <clears throat> uh, let signal the Sportage to downshift for you if you're flying downhill to help you maintain a speed, take some wear and tear off your brakes, because if those get heat soaked, they're going to be less effective. We've got auto hold. We saw that was on. This will now stay on. You don't have to reset this anymore. Love that. You can put the vehicle in drive. See how this text just turned green? I can now take my foot off the brake here and the Sportage will hold itself in place. Now, while you're in traffic with this, um, there is also a lead vehicle departure alert. So when the vehicle in front of you starts to move away, you'll get a beep beep inside the car instead of behind you, if you know what I mean. We've got start-stop technology uh, with gas prices just shooting through the roof. Um, I think you guys really need to start building a relationship with this feature. Um, so long as the conditions are right for your interior temperature, the engine temperature, maintaining your climate, all things associated, uh, the Sportage can actually turn the engine off to save you some fuel because idling for more than a certain amount of seconds is really just wasting your gas and uh, every drop seems pretty precious nowadays, you know. So. Uh, what else do we have here? Parking sensor control, your drive modes. We kind of went over that just a little bit with uh, showing off the different screens here. Um, snow mode is dedicated for snow, of course. The smart mode will actually change between eco, normal, and sport for you automatically based on your pedal usage. Now, this is also a button. We've got a center differential lock for your all-wheel drive. You can see that little guy popping up right there. Okay, so just know that if you need that 50-50 front rear power distribution at low speeds, you can really utilize the all-wheel drive system in this vehicle. Center console is a center console. Glove box is a glove box. All right. Okay, now let's go ahead and talk about our visors. You know, I love these things. They're clipped. They telescope. We've got an independent light up here. Nice little mirror. Hey, hey. All right, so that's going to be it for our front driving area, guys, and I hope you are impressed so far because this just blows the old model out of the water. Look at the vents. Just look at all of the design on here. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit of wood grain accent on here, too. Nice and dark. Oh, man. All right, let's go ahead and go through some settings real quick before we hop out. Let's get this vehicle set up. So driver assistance, I'm not gonna worry about that too much right now. The cluster we've already gone over. Let's get the welcome sound going. We'll hear it when we get out of the car. Climate, not so worried about that right now. Seating, not so worried about that right now. Lights, meh. Doors, here we are. Gotta get that smart lift gate on. We're gonna do a demo of that for you just in case you haven't seen the smart lift gate before is nice okay cool so um yeah all right let's go ahead and turn the vehicle off Scoop. electric parking brake engaging automatically and let's see if we get our welcome sound here nice and that was just beautiful right so um, each kia has its own little jingle when you get in and get out of the car i think it's pretty sweet Okay, let's go ahead and check out our back seat real quick. See what we got going on back here. Nice large door handles. These are great. I use these to close the door without really having to touch your paint too much. The less you touch your paint, the nicer it's going to be for longer. 
bottle holders in the doors. We've got seating adjustability for angling back and forth here. Looks like we've got a single cargo bag back here with a grocery bag holder right here on both sides. You can see it a little bit better there in the sunlight. Rear vents, rear storage as well. Checking out the pano roof. We've got some great natural light going on here. Handles, hooks, little lights on the sides there. Armrest with cup holders. I'd say actually bottle holders. Let's specify, those are pretty tiny. But uh, these rear seats will fold down in a 60-40 split for you. You can see we've actually got another little piece of glass back here for some extra visibility. So let's go ahead and hop in the back seat here. But first, we're gonna do our demo of the smart lift gate. So, we're gonna go ahead and just walk away for a second and trick the proximity of the Sportage here. We just went shopping. The key's in my pocket. My hands are full. I'm just holding all the things right now. We're gonna walk up here, and man, I just, I just don't wanna touch the button. You know, oh, what's going on? Oh, that's right. Smart lift gate, baby. Opens for you. You don't have to do anything. Just stand near it. It's great. No crazy kicks or swipes or looking stupid in public. <laughs> and I was actually hoping that we had these levers back here because I know Kia is just awesome at designing things. We've got these levers back here. You can just pull. Whoa, that thing. Woo! See the spring load on that? God dang, you can smack someone. Bam. All right, so if those rear seats were forward a little bit more, you can see we have a nice flat plane. You can see we've got some accessories in here. Nice little cargo cover to keep things out of direct sunlight or just completely concealed for you. Um, this is spring loaded. You can see there's a few different adjustment points that you can place this in. Um, I'm going to guess you can also store it down below in the vehicle instead of just throwing it in the garage. Nice little cargo tray, all weather mats, carpeted mats. Let's see what we got going on under here. Yep, you can see with these little slots right here, you can actually store that cargo cover right there. You've also got a spare tire. I know you guys are some fiends for some spare tires. Woo! What else we got here? Cargo net, wheel locks. Yeah, talk about that spare tire, folks. Uh, this, oh, this also moves. So we can see a second channel underneath right here. If you need some extra space, this floorboard will actually recess a little bit for you instead of giving you a flat plane if you just need the overall top-down volume, okay? So I think we're actually uh, wrapping this up here. I still did this pretty quickly. I hope you guys are proud of me. Love you. All right, let's go ahead and check out uh, passenger seating adjustability real quick. Unlock our door first. We've got a four-way adjustable manual driver's seat here. Now, when you see things like this, remember, Kia is all about value, but also all about keeping you within a certain price point. So, um, these new Sportages are actually more affordable than the older ones. <laughs> so, we'll see what the SX Prestige has to offer. I'm sure we're gonna see that, but this is more for a look and a style. X-Pro, off-road. Do you really care about that seat if you want to buy an off-road inspired vehicle? I'm sure some of you will say yes, some of you will say no. Go ahead and just leave it in the comments for me and we'll talk about it later. But uh, that's going to wrap it up here, guys. You're welcome. And thank you for your time. I really do appreciate you a lot. Let me know if you have any compliments, questions, or corrections about any of the information I've provided to you today. Make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. This content is also going to go on the Kia of Columbia YouTube page. And my 6,000 subscribers, if you could just search up Kia of Columbia, head over there and hit the subscribe and notification bell. I am going to start pushing out a bunch of content on there too. Not all always the same, but this definitely needs to go on there too. So I appreciate you guys a lot. If anything that I've done helps you make a big buying decision or purchase, feel free to leave me a super like or any sort of tip that's all set up in my channel for you in the about section as well as the cover art of this page. I love you so much. I'm so happy to be back. We're going to be 
filming the rest of these sportages today. And uh, just thanks again for your time. I really do appreciate you. Hope everybody's doing well, having a great day, and excited about the new Kia Sportage. Thank you so much, guys. Matt Croissant, Kia of Columbia.